Hello, welcome. This is the Resilient Rooster. I'm back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and today I'm gonna be showcasing Infinity FTK. This deck used to be very consistent with Zoo and three firewalls, but now it's a little bit harder. But what changed is basically that Gooster got hit, firewall got limited, but in return we got Underclaw Taker, we got Monster Reborn, and I think and then the last one card. So and we got Trigate. So there's a lot of you know some leeway. This deck does a lot of spamming, so just it, just even if you don't really FTK, you can at least you know link out and just make Trigate. So this is my deck list right now. It's probably not the best, but I I really like this build. You probably could change cards like Rageki and Twin Twister since you're usually gonna go first anyway. So Rageki doesn't really matter. So this is my deck list right now, and let's get right to the replays. So in these replays, I didn't face a single opponent that had a hand trap. So Take this replay with a grain of salt, but if you don't have, if your opponent doesn't have any like hand traps, you basically can just go off and just FTK. But just in case that they do have a hand trap, you usually want to make a Baguska or Plan B is try to make a big board with you know the Link Monster because this deck can just spam out monster quickly. As you can see right now, I'm just keep linking up, and that way I have you know a card on top and then make a card on the bottom. So since I had enough, you know, material because of Infinity Beetle by Special Summoning 2, you can basically make the Scoldy pretty easy. Since I had a lot of names, I was able to just draw 4 cards and, you know, pick the cards I needed. And put the cards I didn't want on the bottom of my deck. So, I'm just spamming and, you know, the goal of this deck is basically you want an arrow to point down and Firewall to be on the bottom. That way, when you keep using the Link combos or like the Special Summoning of Firewall's effect, you can just keep special summoning from your hand. So here, I finally got the Amazon Archer, and basically this is where the FTK starts to happen. I, when you have Archer, you all you have to do is tribute two monsters, and you can just keep you know special summoning. You burn them for 1,200, and then Firewall with special summon from the hand. And Mirage is basically a good way to bring back the monsters. You could probably uh, probably boost the Mirage to two. But I guess one is okay for now. But if you wanted to take out the one to twister and the one Raigeki for the Mirage, it's probably okay to do so. You just don't want to draw it too much since it doesn't really do much during the opening play since you need cards in the graveyard to play Mirage. So at this point, my opponent is almost gone 1200 or 2000. Another 1200, so now it's 8, and then that's game. This is one of the hands where opening up the gate 0 wasn't a bad thing since I had the Dark Refer. Dark Refer can basically special summon itself by sending a level 6 or higher Dark Monsters from your hand to the grave. And at this point, I send the Harris and Harris searches my scales. And I get to Pendulum Summon at this point and basically once you get Archfiend, you can just set up your combos. You search the Necromancer, Necromancer summons the Archfiend and the Archfiend searches the Launcher. And at this point, you just go off. If I didn't have two the Necromancers in the graveyard, I would be able just to make it a different way by making Gaia Saber and then going into Firewall the following turn. So right now I get the Archfiend Search to search the Mirage and Mirage basically sets up my combo at this point since I can get, I have access to two Necromancers and then two Necromancers can eventually make the Invoker. And at this point it's just you know where the FTK happens, the magic. So summon on the Archfiend and just keep going off. Uh, you, the Infernity Beetle is good to you know make more Tribute Summon, or if you want to, you could use it as Link Materials. But at this point, it, it didn't really matter since I was able to basically get all the cards off the field by just tributing it. And they lose 1200 for each time I tribute two monsters, and at this point, it's pretty much game over. One more time, boom. I would say that this deck is quite, you know, versatile in making the FTK happen. There's like a lot of things that, you know, that you can play around with. Since now that Designator from the Grave is gonna come out soon, and that could stop like the potential Ash or Journal Lock. So I think it's gonna be a good addition. Like if this Regeki was the Designator from the Grave, I would probably be in good condition. But the only problem with Infernities is you can't really control any uh, uh, cards in the hand but 
when you set a quick play spell card, you can't really activate it to turn out it's set. So that's probably one of the drawbacks. So maybe the designator from the grave won't work as well, but it's a, it's a start. Also, one thing I like about Skull Dread too is it can special summon a monster from the hand, and it could be any monster. So I think that it's good in starting like the special summoning to where you can abuse it with Firewall later. So right now I'm just making I got two necromancers. So two necromancers basically makes the archfiend or archer. And basically when you get archer, this is where the FTK just happens. Firewall still has one balance, and you usually use the bounce on Mirage. So I got the Mirage here, and this is basically game over. When you see the Mirage, it basically says that you it counts as probably like four monsters since. You get two Necromancers, and then the Necromancer can bring out the Archfiend. And the Beetle, I forgot about Beetle too. Beetle is an auto two monster as well. So just keep, keep burning. There's nothing much to say. <laughs> so that, that's two more times. Mirage basically gets two more Necromancers, and Necromancer goes for game after. I special summon two. Two. In this duel, I had a pretty bad hand. I'm not sure if the play is possible with just three cards alone, but I got lucky in the end, and you'll see shortly. So I used Armageddon Knight to send the Street Patrol so I can summon my Archfiend off Harris. That's the card I set from the Curious. But I also milled the Destrudel, and Destrudel, milling the Destrudel really mattered. Because now I can just make Proxy Dragon, and I can make the Firewall next to the Proxy Dragon soon after. So I make the firewall next to it, and this is basically where the magic happens. Something leaves the field, and I can just special summon. And th this is where I get the loot. So once you have two necromancers, you basically want to search the mirage. And when you have the mirage, you basically can go for game. Since you summon the two necromancers, one of the necromancers is going to search the... Or get the archfiend, and archfiend is going to search the card that you need. And you basically make Invoker, and Invoker gets Archer, and it's just rinse and repeat. I had all the cards I needed at this point. Got the Beetle in my hand, and just keep special summoning. I also have two bounces with Firewall, so that's a cool thing too. And I basically just got my Proxy Dragon back, but probably didn't matter since my Skull Dread still had a special summon, I believe. But right now, I, nothing really matters since right now it's just an FTK. So 1200, another 1200, and then the last 1200. In this last replay, I open up the Archer, so when you open up the Archer, you basically have to forget about the FTK. It's probably not going to happen with one Firewall. If you had two Firewall, it could probably happen, but since we're stuck with one Firewall, it's just better to make, like, the Trigate. If you can. If you can't make Trigate, then Bagusco's the next best play. So at this point, I basically Pendulum Summon 3, and this is where you start to go off. My Armageddon Knight send the Distrudel, that way it's an extra body. So my Necromancer searches the Archfiend, or, or bring back the Archfiend, and Archfiend gets the launcher. And at this point, you may try to get in the middle, that way it's gonna be co-linked with three cards, eventually. So I make the Proxy Dragon, I use the Distrudel from the Grave, that way I could just make Firewall here. And basically when you make Firewall, this is where it's easy to just co-link. Since almost everything you do, just the special summons from the hand. <laughs> And I could have gone even harder if I just made Eve over here and then make the pro uh, what is it the card Gaia Saber on top. That way, it'd be a bigger beat stick and harder to get over. But my opponent they didn't have a play at this time since if they attack I could just bounce it with Firewall and if they try any shenanigans I have two negates. And at this point I have enough for game. So that's it for the replays. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button. If you want to follow me for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content, please click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and have a great day.